Razzy Art Toy Jewelry Kits are found to have high lead levels. The New York State Attorney General said on Friday that his office had opened an investigation into how toys with dangerously high levels of lead ended up for sale at retailers including Target, Kmart and Toys R Us. The Attorney General, Eric T. Schneiderman, said that some jewelry-making sets from the arts and crafts brand Crazy Art contained as much as ten times the amount of lead permitted by federal child safety limits. Mr. Schneiderman's office said that one or more of the products was also sold at other retailers, including Amazon and Walmart, and called on all the retailers to immediately remove them from their shelves. Mr. Schneiderman's office has asked the stores to provide more information about the safety testing and certification for the toys, which it said were manufactured in China and sold throughout New York State. Manufacturers, importers, Distributors and retailers all have responsibility to ensure that products intended for use by children are safe, Mr. Schneiderman said in a statement. My office's discovery of high lead products on store shelves in New York points to an alarming breach in the safety net that is supposed to protect our children from dangerous chemicals. Charlie Zakin, the vice president for advertising at Crazy Art, a division of Laro's Industries in Randolph, New Jersey, said the company was unaware of the investigation. However, the safety of our products is our highest priority, Mr. Zakin said, adding that all of the items in question had passed rigorous safety testing and conformed to all regulatory standards. In a statement, Walmart said that it required suppliers to meet all applicable safety standards. Target and Toys R Us said they were looking into the matter and Kmart said it would cooperate with any investigation. Target and Kmart affirmed their commitment to safety, and representatives for Amazon could not be reached for comment. Mr. Schneiderman's office bought a number of products in October, November and February as part of a broader test for toxic chemicals in children's products. The office tested 10 boxes of three crazy art jewelry making sets and found that the included wristbands contained lead that exceeded the federal safety limit of 100 parts per million. Some contained as much as 980 parts per million per million.